What's up guys, in this video we're going to be doing the unboxing and review of these Umbro Neo 2 Pro shotgun gloves. I didn't do an unboxing of these, but I figured this would do just as well because there's not much to the packaging. Uh, these are the gloves after probably a month and a half of use. I really enjoyed using these and hopefully you enjoy the review. Thanks for watching. You'll notice this webbing that's on the glove. It's supposed to be stylish, I think, but as you can see on this, it's ripped off, so... That's not really a huge issue, I just noticed it. So guys, the Umbro Neo 2 Pro shotgun gl gloves come with a 3mm hyper roll foam latex. It's really thin, and I really like that feel. Uh, I got an 8 in these gloves. They fit more like a 7, honestly. I, I was really surprised, and initially I thought Pro Direct sent me the wrong size. They are so small. But I like these because they're skin tight, and originally I thought they would be far too small to have game gloves, or just there's not too much surface area. But the grip on them is incredible. As you can see, there's some there's some good, pretty good use on these, and they still have really, really amazing grip. I'm really impressed with these gloves. Like I said, guys, I ordered these in an 8, and they fit more like a 7. So I'd recommend going one, half a size up, even maybe a whole size. For the price point, they're pretty expensive, but that's all in the foam. It's so tacky. It, I, it's incredible. It's one of the best foams I've used. Along with the, the extended palm, it feels really, really nice. So guys, these Umber gloves have plenty of features. I really enjoyed them. It has this big latex backhand punching. And they used to have this on the Geometra series, and I never had any Geometra Neo 2 Pro shotguns. But it feels really, really nice. After you wash them, it's, it feels very soft, and these are, I just washed these a little while ago, so it's fairly soft. When they're nice and dry, it feels really, really hard. This isn't, this isn't a latex that can wear. This is, when you palm on the ground, it doesn't wear at all. And it is in pristine condition, as you can see. It's a little bit wet right now. I just washed these, like I said. In addition to that, on previous Umbro models, people have complained that this Umbro tick com comes off, and it is it is just sealed on the glove. It feels really nice. This glove feels really, really high quality. The materials used on it, on it are incredible. Umbro have stuck with a side entry. This is something probably Joe Hart has requested. These are last season's gloves, and uh, he wears VG3s now, so I'm not too sure what's going to go on with Umbro in the future if they're even going to make gloves anymore. But hopefully they do. Umbro are some of my favorite gloves ever. It's got a nice big strap, huge velcro on it. It's got a big window for personalization along with Neo Elite shotgun there. You can pull this out if you don't like extended palms like so. And you can have a better fit. This will cover up the extended palm. I don't really know why you would do this unless you wanted the full wrist strap. But um, I prefer it going under. It provides a really nice fit. This, this elastic on it is really high quality. And as you guys should know, it is winter right now, and I, I've been wearing these during the winter, and I haven't had any issues with it being, my hands being too cold, which is pretty surprising. I don't know if they've included any technology for kind of like the outlast material on Cell's gloves, but even though this is an extremely breathable glove, as you can see, you can kind of see my hand through these holes. Uh, there's there's a lot of breathability in it. I haven't had any issues with being too cold. I just I think that's a testament to how, how good the gloves actually are. They are incredible. I really really like using these. Despite them being really small, it provides a really nice fit and the grip is incredible. And guys, for a pretty high price of around 70 pounds, I'd recommend these. I'd recommend them for mainly as game gloves, but after using them as game gloves, they'll make really, really great practice gloves. I really like these gloves. Umbro makes some of my favorite gloves of all time, and I just think that they should continue making them even though they don't have any major endorsees anymore. Hopefully they do. Yeah, but I just cannot say enough about this cut. I love it so much. It's got to be... It's got to be better than the VG3s for me. It fits so tight around your finger with the negative seam on the roll finger and the fingertip and the two negatives here as well as the negative wrap over thumb. It just it's it feels so great with the extended palm. It feels it's just such a nice fit on your hands. It feels so tight and with incredible grip. These have got to be some of my favorite gloves that I've ever worn. So guys, this is going to be the end of the review. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button down below and subscribe if you aren't already. Like I said, I've been pressed for time lately. Hopefully, I'll get some more videos out to you guys during this break as well as throughout the rest of the year. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I'll see you next time.